Hi everybody, it's Claire here in Nala and we're just really excited to welcome you to the King's Hospital School in August. This is where you're going to come in in the mornings and leave in the afternoon and evening. Um, Nala and I won't be here all the time, but we are looking forward to welcoming you. This is the main gates, so your, your parents or if you're coming off the bus, you're going to walk in these main gates and then we're going to show you what door you come into to start school. Boarders will arrive on a Sunday evening and day students will arrive at quarter past eight every morning. So here we are at the Mercer door. Here we go. And I'm now going to hand you over to staff and students who are going to introduce you to daily life here in the King's Hospital. Hi guys, um, looking forward to seeing you guys in a few weeks as we already said to you. Uh, I know that you have a lot of questions, um, maybe a few concerns and we're going to try and iron out a few of those today and answer a few of the questions that you've sent in. A lot of those questions will be answered when you come in at the end of June, start of July to meet the other people in your form. But just before you get there, let's try and answer a few of those questions now. So what's the timing for the school day? Well, students tend to come in between 8 o'clock and 8.15 to get themselves ready, get their lockers ready. Um, and definitely be ready for their tutor group, which starts at 8.25 and that's on the dot. So you can't be late for that one. Tutor then happens from 8.25 and class will then start at 8.40. The day then goes on and school will finish at 3.40 and that's just academic classes. Then you get to go back to your locker again, get your sports equipment, head down to the changing rooms and get ready for sport, which tends to start at around about 4 o'clock and goes on to a little after 5. When you come in at the end of June, start of July, you'll be shown to the locker room. Um, that's where all of your books and your exercise books are kept and what we'll do for every single class is that you'll go and you'll get your books that you are needed for that class rather than bringing your uh, backpack with you around every single class. That's not necessary. So your locker will be your home base so to speak and you'll get everything you need for each class from there. Pretty much what you have in your pencil case in uh, primary school. Pens, pencils, rubbers, uh, ruler, um, exactly what you've had before, calculator for maths and science and so uh, there will be individual subjects where the teacher will tell you that there's specific needs but in general it's what you have at the moment plus a calculator. I hope so because I do. Uh, yes, you are allowed to have a snack at break time. Let's try and make sure that we keep it as healthy as possible though and it's not going for a Mars bar or Snickers every break time. So coming back to the locker situation again, uh, when do we go back to it? Do we go back every single class or what are the times on that? Well, you've got nine classes during the day and we try and break it up into threes. So your first three classes, you'll take the books for those and then have break time, come back, change for the next three classes. Then you'll get to lunch time, change for the next three classes, and that's your day done. First of all, there's no such thing as an average first year, but uh, it takes between an hour and a half to two hours. Uh, how did I find my way around school when I started? The, on the first day of school, the mentors gave us a tour around the school, and it seems big at first, but after a while, it's like you were always there. Uh, yeah, you will get a map on the first day. What do you call the teachers? So you call the teachers Mr. and Miss or Miss and Sir and their last name. They'll tell you that when you go to class. Um, at first it's a little bit annoying but you definitely get used to it and we do get to go outside at lunch and break to take them off and you get to take them off during PE and sports as well. How many masks do you need? Um, you're only supposed to wear one a day, but you're supposed to wash it after every day, so it's good to have a few, just in case. We get full 40 minutes to eat our lunch every day. Uh, if you're having hot lunch, you queue outside and you get your lunch, and there's normally a good, um, like maybe 10, 20 minutes after, where you can go outside to have a walk around. Uh, if you bring in your own lunch, you can eat in the Wilson Wright, or you can eat outside if the weather's nice. Um, if you want to eat with your hot lunch friends, then you can do that as well. Uh, for my lunch, I like to bring sandwiches or food in a hot flask and some fruit. 
Uh, how do you get water? There's water stations. There's two water stations in the school, so you can go fill your bottle up for, uh, throughout the day. Uh, how do you socially distance in school? Well, there's a one-way system all the way around the school, and in the classrooms, all the desks, all the desks are a meter apart. And if you go outside, you still have to stay a meter away from your friends, even if you take off your mask. Uh, yes, there are. On almost every corner, corridor, there's a dispenser. Um, after each class, the teacher sprays the desk and you just wipe it down with a tissue when you come in and put it in the bin. At break, I usually go outside we take a, with my friends and we take a walk around the campus. Or if it's raining, you can stay by the lockers. Uh, masks. Uh, well, we don't really need to wear masks because it's a pod, it's like a, almost like a family, so if we go out into the corridor or we go anywhere else, we do have to wear a mask, but inside here, we don't have to wear a mask, it's just relaxing. When we wake up in the morning, it's usually around 7 o'clock, so we have 15 minutes. At the beginning, you might want to wake up earlier, but 7 o'clock is fine and everything, and we normally have some person with an alarm to wake us up. Some people shower in like in the morning just before breakfast, other people shower in the afternoon after sports. It's There's only two showers, so not everyone can shower at the same time. Well, we usually have breakfast at around 7.15. Uh, what we eat for breakfast is normally uh, some form of cereal, like Rice Krispies or Corn Flakes. We also get fruit served and sometimes sausage rolls and uh, pastries. So you would normally be able to pick an apple or a banana or something like that. And as well, there is an option to have porridge as well. Normally for every day, there is a different choice. So the first thing I would say, your duvet, pillow. Um, your covering for your duvet and um, pillowcase and um, your sheets maybe some nice towels and um, a blanket just for coziness and um, shower gel deodorant toothbrush toothpaste all your toiletries really if you forget something we will find something for you until you get home so don't stress don't panic we will have a supply so for laundry, as we have five houses, we have one house each day and that changes every year. So for this year, um, boys have Monday, Ormond House, and they pack up their laundry in their laundry bag and bring it down by 8.30 to the laundry. And then they'll have it back that afternoon, but at the latest the following morning. Well, we would always encourage um, students to have a uh, maybe second jumper, but if they don't, they could wear their blazer. Sports gear, we would encourage everyone to have all their sports um, uniform so that they have something to change into. And then um, just casual gear for um, evenings or weekends so that they can change from uniform to relax. Five shirts, I would advise. The one thing I would say, bring hangers. We do not provide hangers and instead of um, them ending up on the floor of the wardrobe, we could hang them up. Um, I wrote my bedding, my, my toiletries and my towels and my pillows and sliders. You need sliders. You definitely need sliders. <laughs> Um, I brought my duvet, my pillow, my sheets, and just some nice blankets and some teddies. And that's our really. At school, as a boarder, we have three meals. We have breakfast, and then we have lunch with the day students. And then in the evening, at quarter past five, we have tea, which is also just hot food and it's the same, you can get vegetarian or you can get just normal. And then we have um, prep, which is your time to do homework. And after an hour, you get a break 
and then you can get a wrap in the dining hall. They always have the big tray. Yeah, so we have prep at like <laughs> seven o'clock and then we go down. So we just do our homework and do our study. Maybe it's about at eight o'clock. We have 20 minute break and we go again until 10 past nine. And when we go back up to the dorms after, we kind of chat for maybe five minutes and then we start getting ready for bed. Yeah, it's, it's really fun as well. Lights out is at quarter to 10, I think, or 10 to 10. No, it's quarter to 10. We get up to mischief sometimes and it's always fun hanging around and yeah. we, we haven't gotten into any arguments yet. We're all no. getting along. Yeah. There's every, loads of nice people. Yeah, and I have a very met. special bond. I have a, yeah, as well. Yeah. Like it's more like sisters almost. Than yeah, friends. Like, friends. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not. It's different to friendships you've made before. And it's all like you know, like you know each other sometimes as well. Yeah. you're always like on top of each other, but that's what makes it more like. I haven't met better. any bad person in the school. They're all lovely people. Yeah, yeah. yeah all the teachers really nice. are lovely. Yeah. yeah, everyone's lovely. They really help me out. They're all they're all very welcoming yeah. and very nice. And like you can just go up to anyone. Mm -hmm. They'll help you out. Oh yeah, sure, I'll show you where to go or I'll help you. Yeah, so yeah. It's really nice. <laughs>